Hello everybody, my name is Neil Bakiev and I'm your IELTS instructor. Welcome to the video course called Mastering IELTS Essay Writing Model Answers. And today we will be analyzing a problem and solution essay. More specifically, we'll be focusing on a task response. So make sure to fully address all parts of the task given. Now let's read this essay prompt in detail. More and more people are using cars instead of taking public transport. What are the reasons for this trend? How can the government encourage people to take public transport? Now let's look at the introduction. The number of commuters using private vehicles has surpassed that of people taking public transportation in most countries. So the first sentence is called a background statement and it's a general trend, something which is true around the world and therefore the keywords are in most countries. And here I say that the number of commuters using private vehicles has surpassed, which means um, this number is significantly higher than the number of people taking public transportation. Now, if you look at this carefully, more and more people are using cars instead of taking public transport. So I have paraphrased the first sentence here in detail. Now, <clears throat> let's look at uh, the next sentence here. This essay will explore two major reasons for this negative trend and suggest corresponding solutions. So in the first part, I say that this is my essay plan. That's exactly what I will do in my first body paragraph. So I will explore two major reasons for this negative trend. And in the second body paragraph, I will be focusing on corresponding solutions to arrest it. In this case, to arrest means to control the situation, to manage the situation. Now let's look at the first body paragraph. Some individuals prefer cars to public transport because of comfort and social status. So here um, I show the exact two reasons for this trend. And the first reason is comfort and the second reason is social status. Next, firstly, most drivers opt for personal vehicles because they have the potential to reach their destinations quickly. So here I need to explain how comfort can be reached, right? So I say that um, most drivers really like driving cars because they can reach their destinations quickly and it's comfortable. Okay, next, while employees with cars can check Google Maps and decide which is the shortest way to choose to get to work and avoid congested roads, bus, tram and train passengers are unable. Okay, so here we need to compare people with private cars with those who use public transport. And in this sentence, again, I'm explaining the reason why people prefer to use cars because it's comfortable because they can check Google Maps and decide which is the shortest way to choose to get to work and avoid congested roads. Okay. Next, as a result, the former can get to work on time, whereas the latter may arrive late as they depend heavily on the public timetable and the routes established by government and local authorities. In this sentence, I'm trying to compare people with private cars with those who use public transport, and I'm talking about the results of these action. Next, in addition to this, as wealthy individuals can show their high social status by driving luxury cars, they would rather use private vehicles than public transport. Here, I'm talking about the second reason in detail 
I'm talking about social status, which, which means being rich, being wealthy, showing what great car you have. And that's why I see wealthy individuals can show their high social status by driving luxury cars. Luxury means very expensive cars. Now let's look at the second body paragraph. Probably the most effective approach would be to make public transport as comfortable as private cars. So here you must show the exact solution to the problem Okay, in the first sentence. Next, this could be done by creating special bus lanes where bus drivers could drive as quickly as cars or even more quickly. So show the first step how to do it. Next, as commuters would be able to reach their destinations much faster, they might use public transport more frequently. So show the result of this action. Next, secondly, the creation of high-tech buses, trams and trains equipped with a Wi-Fi system, an air conditioning system and a 3D cinema could encourage a number of car drivers to use public transport. So show the second step how to do it. All right, now let's look at the conclusion paragraph. Overall, the reasons for being behind the wheel rather than taking public transport are comfort and prestige. Okay, so first talk about the, so you must explain the first reason and the second reason which you have mentioned. Okay, next, effective solutions might be making public transport comfortable and as prestigious as driving cars. So here, indicate the exact solution which you offered in your second body paragraph. Okay, so you basically summarize, you don't introduce any new ideas, you only summarize the main points made in body paragraph one and body paragraph two. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, now I would like you to improve your coherence and cohesion, lexical resource and grammatical range and accuracy by paying close attention to different phrases and words which I have used in this essay. Try to understand exactly how to link, uh, link ideas and referencing, how to use advanced vocabulary and a wide range of grammar. So pay close attention to different colors here, all of which represent the aspects which I have mentioned here. Hopefully, this strategy will help you to increase your writing score. Thank you very much for watching and analyzing this video lesson in detail.